I eat banana, tasty banana, put banana in my mouth, squeeze the peel, it comes in then a... <laughs> Squeeze banana! Oh no! Your whole family had bad diarrhea? That's terrible. <laughs> what happened? Where did you eat? His whole family had bad diarrhea. That's not good. Well, your whole family has it. That's like when my wife made, made my birthday cake. And we both ate the birthday cake and we loved it. And then that night we were like, oh, God, the stomach. The stomach was killing us. We're like, what the fuck? It's the same thing because what happened was the recipe had too much oil. When you have too much oil in the cake, it kills your stomach. It's like liquid diarrhea. <clears throat> liquid gaming diarrhea. All right, we, we got to get started, guys. Uh, let's, let's jump in. I have no contributions to shout out at all yet. Uh, again, it would be really great if you could support the stream tonight because earlier today, for some odd reason, it actually was one of my lowest supported Street Fighter streams. I hope that doesn't keep up. Hopefully it was just an anomaly. Um, so tonight, anything would be greatly appreciated. Um, I swear people are just so nosy. Like, oh, Phil raised some money on a stream last month. Where did the money go? I paid for stuff with it. What do you think I did with it? I burned it. I ate it. I, you know, I, I used it to pay down debt. And now... I'm out of money and I need more money to pay the debt again. That's how it works. <laughs> That's how it works. Well, Nathan gifted a tremendous amount of memberships the other day, and then all of a sudden we lose a bunch of them again. It's like, oh my god, man. It's frustrating when it looks like we're gaining traction and then, you know, a bunch of uh, a gifted ones expire again, and we go all the way back down. So thank you, Nathan. Oh, what a shame. Just did a super chat. He says, I found you from the haters. I don't get it. Nobody's perfect. Here's the truth. The haters obsess about things that literally have nothing to do with my streams. That's what they do. They try to pry into my personal life. They try to find out conspiracies and shit about me that are literally uh, half-truths, tiny bits of truth that they, they spin out of control. And they focus on them and obsess about them. It's to the, to the point where they're literally like a cult of obsessed people who just hate me for no good reason. Um, if you just sit here and watch my streams... The mass, vast majority of people who chill with us every night enjoy them and say, I don't know what the hell the big deal is. It doesn't make any sense what they're even saying. It's not even true based on the streams that I've attended. Because you're right. We don't have drama on the streams. We don't do any of this shit that they talk about. They literally pull it out of their own asses to fabricate shit, to try to say that my content sucks and all this. Just ignore it. Come and chill and thank you for your support, man. I appreciate that. I think people make a Maximilian comparison to you because Max streams some variety. Various genres of games. He reviews movies. He reacts to certain stuff. He's known for FGC past while doing variety. I think that's why people make the comparison. Uh, yeah, but again, it's not an apples to apples comparison. You're talking a guy who literally could, could stream picking his nose for four hours and would get thousands of viewers and, and no one cares what he does. Like, he could literally take a shit and people would watch. He could fart for 12 hours and do a 12-hour marathon of farting and make money and no one would give a crap. That's different from me. I'm a small-time guy. You know what I mean? Like, my views are directly related to what I'm playing. It, it's, it, that's just always going to be. You know, we're, we're in different realms of existence, quite frankly. So, because I'm a piece of shit that commits internet fraud and I think that there's no repercussions for my horrendous illegal actions. <laughs> How does it work? Where am I putting it? Look, they're moving. I can't attach it because they keep moving. Where am I putting this thing? On the head? I don't get it. Don't dismount. Oh my god, don't dismount. Uh... <laughs> If I don't dismount, I can't fuse. I can't fuse. I can't select my ability now to fuse anything. So I can't do it. Attach X? It's a new button? There's a new button? This is a whole new thing, huh? Oh, you took advice, Phil. How dare you? It's not a legit playthrough. Fuck you. And I mean that. If you're just here to sit here and bitch, go away. No one cares about you. We're here to have fun with this game. We're not here to sit people whining and saying the get good mentality. Fuck off. For an anonymous, anonymous tipper, furries and mechs, is this what Zelda has become? Yeah, in an open world and basically losing all the music of the franchise and losing all the themes of the franchise and basically becoming a completely different game. 
and having, you know, inferior graphics when Zelda games actually used to have some of the best graphics of games ever. Yeah, that's what Zelda's become. Pretty much, you hit it on the head. It's really not, it's not Zelda anymore. It's a completely different game, and Nintendo's okay with that because guess what? People bought it. Why? Because it's open world, it's a lot of time killing, and, you know, quite frankly, it's not that challenging. Overall, it's actually not that, it's just, it's more of a time investment than, than a, a difficulty challenge. So... I think that's what they wanted. They wanted Zelda to be something different that they consider more accessible rather than being Zelda anymore. Money, 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 money. Poolish just sent another super chat. He says, honestly, my biggest problem with the game is, is reusing the same map as Breath of the Wild. The Sky Islands and Underground aren't significant enough to make up for that flaw, and I wanted a new world to explore. Yeah, I hear you. Because, and, and how bad is it when you, you end up retreading to parts from the first game and they don't even, like, really matter that much? And you're like, well, what's the point of this? It sucks because it really felt like... <clears throat> they should be meaningful and they're not, right? Do you think we'll ever get back to more linear games that's just story-based, no crazy side quests and waste of time? Uh, not as long as these kind of games are selling. It's that simple. When it sells, people, you know, they're going to keep making the same game. <clears throat> all the games kind of went to the, to the same way. You know, they did. They all went in the same direction, right? The consumer to not run out and immediately shove your money into someone's fucking hand for a new game just because it's new? <laughs> I don't know. This is what I mean. It's this capitalist, commercial mentality of the of the common gamer that's fucking the system over it's not the it, it's not the fact that the games are, are bad it's that people are rushing and paying the money for the bad games just wait <laughs> oh no what the oh Can't do anything. I'm done. This is incredibly stupid. You can't heal. What moron made this and said, "Oh, let's make it so that you can't heal at all in the final boss fight." You have to be a complete idiot. What a waste of time. Why? The only way to beat the final boss is gloom healing. This is stupidest design boss I've ever seen in my life. You need to have one specific kind of healing or you can't fight the boss. That's incredibly dumb. That's in insanely stupid. That's one of the worst design things I've ever seen in my fucking entire life playing video games. You can't heal unless you have a specific kind of healing item at the end of the game. Fuck this. This is ridiculously bad. <laughs> Thank you, Chat Hack, for the two super chats. Yeah, I think I'm done for tonight. We'll do one more run, but that's it. We'll try again Wednesday night. If I don't, if I can't beat it Wednesday night, I don't care. I really don't. Then this is terrible. It's actually way worse than Breath of the Wild, in my opinion. At this point, they made the end like this. This is fucking stupidity and it's disrespectful to the player, and they can fucking seriously kiss my ass. I don't care. I really don't care. How many phases are there, and I can't heal? So fuck you and your fucking shitty game. Fuck you. This is so bad, dude. So fucking boring. Boring, can't heal. Look at that. How did you magically dodge? You were open because you attacked and missed. I, I just dodge anyway. That's how we make the fight. <laughs> that is laughably stupid. It's like a PS2 game.
It really is like a PS2 game. You dumbass. <laughs> what a dumbass. It really is like a boss fight from a PS2 game. It's fucking stupid and boring and tedious. And now I have to use my doom, my gloom healing, and I'm not gonna be able to fucking heal. It's so dumb. I have nothing left. I don't know what to do. It's a puzzle boss. I'm supposed to know what to do. Hit fire things when they're coming at you. How the fuck would I know that? How the fuck would I know I'm supposed to be hitting fire things as they come at me? And what fire things? He has ten different fire things. Yeah, this is bullshit. It's fucking terrible. I really don't want to do it. It's fucking garbage. Wasting my time at this point. He took all my hearts away. Look. What a fucking asshole. What a dumb game. This is awful. That's it. I have no shields left. This is a terrible fight. It's a puzzle boss. I needed to know exactly what to do in the third fucking phase, and I didn't. So now they're going to expect me to do the whole fucking fight over. See? Can't hit him. Terrible gameplay. Absolutely terrible gameplay. This is trash. I... Ha! <laughs> fuck this game! I fucking pressed it. Fuck your mother. No, really. Fuck your mother, Nintendo. This is fucking garbage. I... Ha! <laughs> fuck this game! This is fuck. Now I do the whole thing over, right? Fuck your mother. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. We'll, have to, we'll, we'll try it again on Wednesday, right? Now, by the way, it better fucking resume from here, right? It better. Why wouldn't it, right? It better resume from here. This is so stupid. So, they expect you to do double dodge, but each time he can do two different attacks that you need to dodge. Because with the sword, he can either do this or this. So, you need to see what it is and react to it and do the opposite of it every time. Or you have to reflect back all that shit. And it's like, dude, this is so stupid. I don't have... To, guys, we already went... 45 minutes late. We're 45 minutes late on the fucking stream for terrible garbage. This is so bad. I don't want to fucking do this, right? I don't have time. I'm not going to do two hours late to fucking beat the dumbass boss that they made up of a multi-stage puzzle boss. And what reward do I get for beating it tonight? Nothing. I get nothing for it. Nothing at all. So I don't. I think we're just going to do it again later in the week. Yes, I really want 400 fucking phases of the final boss waste my goddamn time. Right? You can't take another Zelda stream. I'm the one fucking playing it, dude. I'm the one who has to play it, not you. Yeah, I'm an adult. Sorry. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. Me. Me. I'm the one who puts out the content that's entertaining. <sighs> I even said it was called Demon Dragon, and it's fucking called Demon Dragon. Ha 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 ha. I... <laughs> You can't make this shit up. I didn't know that's what it was called. Dude, I was joking. Dude! I was fucking joking. I said Black Mamba. There's a fucking Black Mamba I'm racing against right now. Oh my god, could it be any more stereotypical? Black fucking Mamba's right there.